Hello guys, we are here once more and we have two independent artists right now in different countries and from the same band. The band is Dr. Veers and let's talk to them right now. One from South Korea, our first one from South Korea and also another one from the UK. So let's just let us know who you are and where you are right now. Dylan first. Okay, uh, my name is Dylan Forbes. I'm the lead singer for Dr. Veers. Uh, I'm currently based in South Korea. Oh, one second. Um, I'm having slight technical issues, but I'll fix that. Because that's where. Um, I'm currently in South Korea with my wife, and uh, we have just recently, um, well, we, my band Dr. Veers, uh, we're basically working uh, from two separate continents right now, trying to promote. Uh, and get our music out at the moment. We've uh, recorded a full album of songs for you. So um, just two of them have been released. Two singles have been uh, released. The, the most recent one, Everything Slowly, this past uh, Friday. So yeah, it's a little bit about Great. So about the, the other member is Omar. Where are you now? I'm in Birmingham in the, in the UK. Uh, and I'm the lead guitarist of Dr. Beers. All right, great, great, great. So we are talking here about a new EP. It's a new project that's coming. Actually, it's already on Spotify. But uh, we are going to start then uh, with your social network. So let us know where we can find uh, the material of your band and also about the members. Social network handles and also a website if you have one. Where can we um, find We you? do actually. You can find us uh, predominantly on Instagram. Sorry, I'm just making sure I get the right handle here. It's dr.veers, so dr v -E -E um, We also post on Facebook and our website. Uh, Omar will tell you because I've forgotten the, the address. <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh But I think that might be a little bit out of date. It's uh, we also so, have TikTok as well. Okay, uh, so I can see you have Facebook, you have uh, Twitter, you have Spotify, you have SoundCloud, you have Bandcamp, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. You have everything that you need. But <laughs> yeah. let's say that you just have to remember the social network handles because we are talking to a young audience and everything we talk about, they go to social networks to uh, search about the band and, and discover things and new songs, etc. So uh, just repeating, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Spotify, um, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, YouTube and Instagram and also TikTok and also a website, drveer.co.uk, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the website. Great. Wow, they have everything that we, you need to promote your songs. Like one, <laughs> two, three, like seven yeah. different channels. Guys, just, just need look fans. for... Yeah, look for Dr. Veers and also the new EP, Micro Sleep. That's uh, rock, 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 really rock, classic sound. I just loved it because I just heard a, a little bit right now. But we are going to play as well. Keep watching because you are going to know uh, a, a, a new band that's working different uh, continents and they are still doing great music. I have just a question that's personal. How old are you, both of you? Uh, we're both 27 years old at the moment. Um, our bassist Angus is, I think he's just turned 28 a few months ago, a couple of months ago. And our drummer Mark is, let me do it in my head, 25 or 24, somewhere yeah. in that region. <laughs> I can't actually yeah, tell you for sure. Yeah, I think 24. Guys, oh, guys I'm 39. <laughs> you are talking to a producer. No way. 39. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never <laughs> just... would have guessed that. Uh, white hair in my pair, so you are just two boys. Come on, really young. Uh, there is no right. This, there is no right. This Korean haircut for me makes me look so much younger. <laughs> <laughs> they only do one I haircut. I don't have the hair <laughs> to have a haircut. <laughs> oh my god! So there is no right uh, age to work with music. I was interviewing a guy from uh, Canada. He's amazing. 
uh, his music is also uh, all about rock, but with a retro style. And he's 54, so uh, there is oh, no really? wow. right time to start. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So I mean, you told me you are in South so Korea. Like Do you have any South Korea, um, South Korean background in your family, or just? Just zero, Ab absolutely nothing. I think the the only uh, thing I knew about South Korea uh, before I came here was uh, Park Ji Sung, a player for uh, Manchester United, who Omar supports. So um, I just wanted to learn a new language and challenge myself and go somewhere different. And then I ended up getting married. So <laughs> here I am. But oh my um, we God. do. So you are yeah. living there. Oh my. Oh, yes, I live here. I live here. Uh, although we travel back to Scotland, um, where we're from, Glasgow, to record music and uh, gig when obviously the, the pandemic kind of stopped us moving about uh, and gigging. So I, that's kind of when I, I moved over to South Korea because I was like, well, we can't play live anyway. Um, and I came back and we recorded. It's actually an album that we're about to release. We've released one EP before in 2020, I think it was. We Was that yeah. right, Omar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I don't want to get any facts wrong here. Um, and yeah, we recorded the our the album. The first EP I can see on your Spotify, 2020, Who Owns the Moon, right? Yes, that's correct. That's the one. That's the big hit on TikTok. <laughs> Omar, Omar's our, our mastermind behind TikTok. So you have four, you have four tracks. Uh, let's talk about the first then. Uh, you have four tracks. The EP is Who Owns the Moon. And uh, what's the best track if you want to try right now from the previews? Because uh, you have four. Yeah, from our it, first, yeah, our most popular one is Who Owns the Moon. Um, the but it really one. depends. Yeah, it kind of depends what genre of music you're into. That okay. one is definitely yes. our most uh, popular and most mainstream song on the EP. Oh, but that a is lot good. of people quite like Electrify as well, which is a bit heavier. Yeah, oh, I'd I'm, back Electrify as well. I'm From very a happy taste. with this because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it was really difficult in 2000, 2020. We need to remember pandemic, etc. A lot of people uh, couldn't work, special musicians couldn't perform. So money was really short to record and produce and also um, upload to Spotify and do all the marketing campaign behind it was really difficult. So. I, 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 I want to show our audience what you made during the pandemic that was Who Owns the Moon. I'm gonna just share my uh, screen right now. That's your Spotify. Can you see that? Yeah, we can yeah. see it. Right, There so is. this is Dr. Veers. They are those ones. Uh, who is that with uh, red hair here? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Omar. That, that was me. Oh, you... That was me. Yeah. You are different. I went now. a bit crazy. I went a bit crazy during the pandemic. Come His beautiful back... beard. Look. Come back with that, that style, man. I just loved it. <laughs> right. So, yeah, maybe, so good maybe with I'll the try it again. There is one with a helmet. Who is that one? Yeah, that's Mark, our drummer. Mark Adam, our drummer. Okay. And you are. He was very. He, he took the. He took the precautions very seriously, so he wanted to. A mask wasn't enough, so he wanted a, a full-on helmet. So, <laughs> but it looks. We went for a space theme anyway, because it was who owns the moon, so it worked. <laughs> Great. So, uh, you are this one, also with a different hairstyle. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Less Korean. And I, I'm gonna follow, Ju guys. Just go to nice. go to Thanks his Spotify and follow Dr. Veers right now. Let's explore his Spotify. Then uh, he has one um, one single, "Who Owns the Moon," from the previous EP uh, released in 2020, with 6,000 plays. That's amazing. Let's play that and explore. <laughs>
amazing! Wow! That's incredible! Really, really, really! <laughs> Guys! This is amazing! It's like, I can say that, like, my personal opinion, alright? So, it's a kind of punk rock Beatles. That's incredible! Yeah. I just love yeah, it! It's, it's good. It's that right, is a good comparison, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, that's... Look, there is a reason that song is... Um, I can see that there is, that song is a hit. I can say that. Uh, could be in the radio. I didn't even know I had 6,000 listens. <laughs> that was well, the first well, but, I've seen that. I'm, I'm not talking about <laughs> pretty good. numbers. Because I'm really yeah, yeah. working for likes and followers. This is not a sign of talent. Talent is that, what I was listening. If, you, if you, we compare that kind of song with all those songs that the cinema industry is choosing to be on Netflix, etc., in the series uh, for young audience, you know, that's a, a, a little rebel and still have a retro style, that's the kind of song. Amazing. This is a hit, man. Really, for real. You should be right. best on keep Thank promoting, you. even if you bring well, others. Um, sh shout, out to, shout out to Omar and Angus. They, uh, that was actually, I think that was the first song uh, that Omar and our bassist Angus came up with when like, Omar and I had been in a band together for, um, I think about since 2011 or something like that. So that yeah, was in 2007, 2017 or something that Omar uh, and Angus became friends through university and they made three songs which actually ended up on the, the EP, which was Who Owns the Moon, uh, Kafka um, and Electrify. And then Omar and I had made Come and See the other song uh, previously. Um, so we sort of combined those all together. So that song was really, that was the start of our band. And that was uh, Omar, Omar and Angus came up with that one. So thanks, guys. <laughs> right, right. So, Omar, you have something to comment about that? Because uh, the reaction of the producers was like, whoa, that's amazing. So, do yeah. you have any comment about that? I'm just that? glad. Yeah, I mean, I feel like those songs were quite a long time ago now, uh, but I'm glad people still like them. And I mean, if you think it could be a hit, then that's great. Uh, but I actually think we've developed kind of musically since then as well. And I, I actually prefer our, our newer songs to those songs. Right, um, right. But uh, uh, look, this is a kind of make the band discoverable, you know? Keep keep promoting them. Uh, times in, uh, after some time, like uh, after, after some months, keep just posting on social networks about uh, those old songs. Old, 2020, yeah. it's not old. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not old. <laughs> totally not old at all. But keep they feel old because we've had them for so long. Right. But, I mean, uh, what I what... say is the audience is not always um, there following you uh, because the same song. There is still people yeah. lo uh, looking for the retro style songs and also the punk rock. So you have both. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. So um... certainly a lot of variety. We we do have quite a. It goes from popular rock to almost. I think one song would not quite metal, but almost. Um, so we have quite a wide range because there's myself omar and angus uh, all write songs uh, and then we collaborate with each other so there's a little slightly different flavor with um with every song that comes out but it's obviously all under the the doctor views branch you know who you're listening to so i think it keeps it quite interesting for if new listeners want to hear um if they love who owns the moon there's more songs that are like that we are if like that, that guys king. we are we you cannot predict yeah. what is gonna happen in this kind of interview because when we start exploring it's exactly exploring since the beginning and normally some artists they say no 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 don't do that because this is horrible they don't <laughs> like the first ones you know but in this case your first one was boom amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hopefully hopefully uphill from here <laughs> okay, so we are going we step think. by step now because then we, peaked. <laughs> we are going step by step and get to the the micro sleep all right we are going there Excellent. but right now i want to know how it's working uh for the band uh to be in different countries uh how do you do because i know for production especially because i'm doing this remotely working with different artists from different countries, and I'm still in the UK, in Hall. So how it works for you as a band, not the production part, but the performance part? 
Um, well, well yeah. yeah, sorry, Omar, go. Omar. Um, no, on you go. You, you go. No, no, I want to <laughs> listen to Omar. Come on, Omar. Omar, Omar was so keen. Omar was so keen there, so he's, he's got to go. <laughs> um, yeah, well, performing-wise, it's obviously very difficult um, with Dylan, who is obviously the, the lead singer of, of Dot Viewers. Um, but we did previously do a kind of like a split screen when Dylan was in uh, South Korea for one of our songs, uh, Big Star, uh, where we basically all recorded uh, our bit separately and then sent it to Dylan to sing over. And that worked quite well. Um, that was during the uh, pandemic as well. So say, say the song's title again. Oh, so that song is called Big Star. Um, that song isn't out on Spotify at the moment, uh, but I think there's there's a video on YouTube of us doing uh, a live performance, which Wait. is when Dylan was in South Korea. And ah, they are asking, <laughs> can we show the live performance from the old times? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't because uh, I think our our album version's so much better than yeah, that version. Yeah, I, that I, was like a great, that was like nice. a demo, like a demo, demo, demo. If it's, for everyone, it's, it's much better now. If you want to explore not only the new album that we are going to talk <laughs> about right now, but you, if you want to explore the other uh, material, go to YouTube. They are saying that there is a live performance. Amazing. You can, you can see the skeletons in our closet are there for you to see. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll I think, I think it's, a, it's a good example of how much better... Evolution. Yeah, we've got, we've got, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Omar, that's the point. Omar, that's the point. What you said is exactly that. How yeah. it was, and then you can go with the band and developing together. As a fan, you know, this is amazing when you are part of the band history, you know. This is good. That's why I say explore the old materials that's not old because this is 2020. But explore yeah. that for all the audience and see... Uh, what they are working uh, right now. Uh, that is uh, the, uh, micro sleep. Let's talk about micro sleep now. So, are you performing and um, presenting this material to the audience live, or how do, are you doing? Because you are in different countries. Um. So for well, because the pandemic's only sort of recently in the past like a year or so the past just six a, months just sort a of comment gone. just a comment i'm asking that because we have many different platforms for live performances remote live performances you know like sessions yeah, yeah. you know so um it's a it's possible we don't need to be in, in in the same country that that's the reason of my questions all right yeah and um, as for like live performances of microsoft we were playing it uh, so i came back to scotland um, to record the album and that lasted about three months so we played that was just as they uh, eased up restrictions for mass and stuff like that so we played um a couple of gigs um one of which was like a 90 minute marathon at the, the Trois Tam. so thanks for that that was great we played like 27 songs or something crazy and only three covers so it was that was brilliant so we played microsleep there and um, but after I went back um of course it was Omar uh, Angus and Mark at that point uh, they've played a few live gigs uh, without me with them singing but that's something we've been doing since the beginning because uh, back in I think 2019 Angus went to coach tennis in Australia briefly and that was just after we recorded our, our EP Who Owns the Moon so myself Omar and Mark went out uh, and actually played Microsleep for the first time we, we wrote Microsleep actually for that gig which is quite funny um, and then we played it so you know if like there's been times where Mark, the drummer, hasn't been able to make it because he's uh, he's just recently finished university, so he was doing his, his exams. So we've had um, shout out to to DT. Uh, he came in and played with Omar and Angus. So I think the main thing is, no matter who's available, ideally all four of us would be there at all times to play. But we just want a gig and play whenever possible. So I'll definitely be back in Scotland to be playing uh, plenty more live gigs with the boys. But um, it's just good playing playing the songs whenever we get a chance, no matter who's available. We we'll always we we'll always try and do that. So I fully support whenever Omar, Angus, um, DT, Mark, whoever it is, uh, play. I'm just glad that our music's getting out, and I'd love to love to be there, and I will be there uh, to play again soon, hopefully. So we did do it. We did a music video actually for Microsleep, which we also released at the time of the single. So we did have sort of 
uh, those things in mind uh, when I was back in Scotland. So we got a lot done. But you can catch the guys playing playing live. They do it quite a lot. So we'd love to do more um, things like we did with uh, Big Star a, a couple of years back where we, we all play our, our performance and put it together or whatever. And that is in the plan. But right now we're just, we're really trying to promote everything. Uh, so we've been playlisting, playlisting, playlisting posts. You know what it is. <laughs> so Omar, Omar and Angus have done a fantastic job with that. I've, I've done as much uh, as I can on the, I call it the night shift. Because <laughs> we're so far apart, like eight hours <laughs> apart just now. But we're, we're, we're you know, it's, we always try and make it work. Whatever our situation, I think. We're really determined to keep going as a band and get our music out and we think it's we think it's really good uh, and we think uh, people would enjoy it so let's just try to get the most people listening to it that's a oh, good what? message <laughs> not only for the audience uh, as a fan uh, but also for those starting as an artist there is a lot of people that watch our uh, tv channel uh, independent tv channel superpop.tv but they are independent artists too because we give a lot of tips how to build an independent career by themselves you know as a business etc so it's a good message you are in different countries it, because the pandemic wasn't possible to perform together uh, when the pandemic um, finished the lockdown just came down and then you started exploring a different way the market is not today because the technology the market is, the market is not only for live performances um, um, in, in, in the same place you can do live performances in, in being in different countries uh, through the platforms that we have and also uh, you can explore Uh, the promotion of your music on social networks. This is a way to build an organic audience through social networks. And it works. Because then it's going to give some results on Spotify. With real plays, what also gives money. So, this is a yeah. good way to do it. So it works. We don't have to be... Uh, to stop our independent career just because we can't perform or because we are far away from each other. No, we can st still keep exploring. I have a question about the new, um, actually, yeah, the new music video, Micro Sleep. I'm gonna show the, the music video here right now. Yeah, that's cool. I want to ask <laughs> first about the production of that. Is it an independent production? Uh, you made by yourself, you have producers behind it, Tell the producer's name, if possible. That was we, uh, homemade. <laughs> we con we contacted uh, Spielberg. He didn't reply, unfortunately. <laughs> he uh, didn't do it. So plan B was we had to make it ourselves. Was it Omar? <laughs> so it was me and me filming Dylan pretty much for all of it, I think. And then That's... we just used, used some um, live gig footage as well. That's what I like. I like this kind of production because we work with only independent artists. And this yeah. is what I, I say. Never stop. Even if you have just a mobile phone, it's still possible to record a, a music video. Do your edition and put on social networks. That's what you are doing. Doesn't matter about uh, number of likes and, and number of followers, etc. Don't worry with these things. Keep producing what you yeah. love, you are going to attract the right audience. I'm gonna play the, the new musical video right now. Sorry. But also, yeah? Sorry, um, the, the thing I would say about, um, we don't put too much focus into anything outside of, uh, like when we came up with the album, it was all about let's get the best possible songs recorded to the highest possible standard. Um, and we, we all chipped in a crazy amount of money Uh, that we all worked really hard for for the course of like two years or something like that so um like the most important thing to us is that the music sounds and is as good as possible so we just had a laugh with the music video to be honest we're like okay the song is what we want excellent so let's just anything let's just promote it as long as people hear what we've done that's that's the most important thing to us We, we want people to hear it more than anything. <laughs> of course. Money, money are, can come, are, that'd be this great. Is a, but... <laughs> this is a podcast-style interview, but we are a TV channel. We have to see, to show images as well. Not only the sound, but... Oh, no, are... I, like, I like it. I know, did a great job. I know you prefer to, to talk <laughs> about the, the music, etc., and the audio production, but we are going to explore the music <laughs> video. I will, not, I will not stop here. <laughs> no, I it's good. To... I think it's good. 
Great. Good. Omar did a great job. <laughs> I want to ask. He made me look very, very thin. I want. To, yeah, I want. That's what I was going for. <laughs> what? Say I again. Do the editing. <laughs> He made me look very thin, so I. He made me look very thin, so I was. Uh, I was very happy with the music video, to be honest. Great. I'm going. <laughs> did I'm a gonna, great job. I'm gonna play it now, but I'm gonna ask you: Can you send us the link to download that music video to put permanently in, on our TV channel? Because then we, we certainly put, can. We put yeah. the the interview, and in the end, we put the music video, uh, and people oh, excellent. will be watching. Can then watch the music video. Great. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's Fantastic. Good. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna share now and play. Can you see me now? By yeah, we can see you. Can see yeah, you. we see you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Customers at the right. Time. right. Uh, YouTube ads. Bane yeah, in my life. Exactly. <laughs> can you see me now? Yeah, we can see you. Do Great. we get money for that? Say again? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if we got any money from those YouTube ads. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, have a commi we need a commission. <laughs> That's two pets. That's at least Man, two pets. <laughs> I really liked that. And uh, what is interesting is that there is a history behind everything. It's not only recording like uh, randomly and putting uh, the footage on YouTube. No, you made a proper music video with a history and also a script, etc. And I like it. I really enjoying it. And we don't think that everyone will look for that mainstream thing from uh, Vivo, you know, there is an audience for everything. Don't say like, oh, this is just a, uh, the music video is not very, no, don't say that. You say, I'm proud of that music video. We made it and it was in the middle of a pandemic. That was incredible. I will enjoy it. Send us the link. Don't forget about that. So We certainly will. I think that's Omar, Omar and our drummer Mark came up with the, the idea for that, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it was also with the, the drummer Mark as well. We were just, I think it was after rehearsals, me and him got the same train home together, I think. And uh, we were just chatting about a music video and then we just came up with that. Because uh, the song is about just falling asleep at work. Uh, do you know when you're just at work and you're so bored and you go, you do that kind of nod off. We thought it'd be quite funny if, 
um, Dylan would just fall asleep and then wake up somewhere completely different. I thought that was quite a cool idea. All right, that I was a probably... nice idea, and the, everyone will uh, feel like they relate to that. You know, it, everyone <laughs> was really, really tired, and one day uh, falling asleep um, yeah. during working times. Uh, that's not good. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> You're going I, to be I some, tired. Yeah. I have some friends I won't name, but they would literally go in the toilet and sleep for like an hour and a half and still get paid. So uh, I can really relate yeah, to I him. <laughs> like I think about him when I play that song. Like wow, you literally get paid to sleep all day. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Yeah. Don't do, don't do that, guys. Don't do. Yeah. <laughs> This is a, Dr. Dr. Beers recommends uh, work hard, work hard. Yeah. Get eight hours of sleep in the house. Right. <laughs> so, uh, give me a, give uh, give us another name of a different song from the same EP, the new one, the micro. Oh, uh, from. Oh, actually, um, everything oh. slowly. Everything slowly, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think I think we should probably we've not actually told anyone yet the, the title of the album, um, so we've not even released it yet. So I don't know, Omar. Do you want to do the? Oh, honors? that's true. That no, one was true. the music video. Come on, let's go to everything slowly right now. Uh, the first track, everything slowly, right? Yeah, that's our, our recently released single from the album. Just this past Friday. Great. So we are going to explore that because I love to play and have my real reaction, uh, genuine reaction, because this is the first time.
Great. It's in my playlist. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. It's yeah, already in my playlist. That. Really <laughs> amazing, guys. Really totally different. As you said, totally different from the first song we played here. But man, really high quality. And I can say that again, this could be on the radio for real. Well, we, we hope so. Hope so, yeah. We hope, <laughs> we hope everyone picks it up now. Do you, Available do you know now. how to do that? Do you know how uh, to yeah. do that? Right. We, so. Well, we've been promoting pretty heavy, uh, but it's only just came out on Friday there. So hopefully as the, as the weeks go on, we'll get more and more, more and more radio plays. Cool. It's been, I think it's been a, played in a couple many, in America. There are many platforms for um, uh, send your song to different radios, not only on in your country, but in different countries. Radios uh, with a segmented um, audience, like rock, you know, proper rock. This song could be even in a, in a radio for pop, because this includes pop rock. And this is very punk, but it's also pop. And that's what I like. It's a light punk rock. And I enjoy yeah, yeah. it. I enjoy yeah, yeah. it. It's a good idea. That's a good so yeah, we, what we like is it's about sort of marrying together everything we love. Like myself and Omar really love, um, you know, alternative rock, especially stuff from the 90s and even some stuff from the 80s and stuff like that. And uh, we like really heavy music and also like the Beatles. And then Angus, um, for example, loves the poppier stuff. He loves the chorus. He loves really catchy stuff. He loves that type of rock music. So um when melodic, you sort of merge it together, rock, right? Yeah, very melodic. Yeah, he loves that. So we wanted like heavy guitars, a lot going on, but really strong melodies as well. So we we wanted to get sort of the you know the heavy aspect, but not so heavy that it's uh, you know inaccessible to people as well. We want it to be catchy as well as as oh yeah, bit, this is know, really powerful. catchy. Yeah, I will never forget that, especially because it's gonna be <laughs> my personal playlist. Yeah, excellent. Uh, I have <laughs> just a question. <laughs> Why this idea of changing the music style, changing, it's still rock, but changing a little bit the music style uh, in this process of development of the band since 2020 that came the first um, single on Spotify? Uh, I think it's just been a natural sort of progression because um, for like that song there, I think we wrote that originally in like 2018, but since then it's changed probably about 10 times like the version that you just heard there wasn't didn't exist until i think the week before we recorded it there was some significant changes as well as a lot of melody changes um but we just i think we just got better as uh, musicians um so we've been trying different things seeing what sticks and we demoed i mean omar alone probably made about 100 200 songs uh, before we came up with the album just to get I think it was like we did 12 for the album. So um, our st we've just developed quite a lot. So that's why the style has changed. Like the stuff from the EP is from about 2017, I think most of those songs or even even earlier, like 2013, I think Come and See was written. So what you're hearing is like we're sort of getting up to date with how we are now as musicians compared to how we were five years ago, 10 years ago, whatever it was. Yeah, and I'd also just add that I think when we were playing uh, the EP live, it wasn't quite uh, like high energy. It wasn't really energetic and we weren't really feeling it so much on stage. So I think the album kind of gives a better, like, uh, well, it's just higher energy, I think. And it was just more fun to play live. And I think that kind of translates into why the, the song's got a bit heavier and a bit faster. I can translate. Yeah, that's My a great opinion, point. Right? This is personal opinion here. From the first, uh, I was listening, the first single, uh, remember the name? I, I, I don't remember the name. Oh, uh, who, owns, who Owns the Moon? Yes, yeah. that one. From that, the first single, I was like, oh, this is really catch, this is really pop. And then this one is infectious. Because I was like waving my head. Oh, <laughs> this, that's the effect. Yeah. This is a definition for your music right now it's infectious and also i have a question why you are using a glitch effect on the audio that almost brings a lo-fi style oh at, at the beginning that was actually our producer paul's idea to sort of do like that um it was like a reverse 
like one of the things a speed up effect he did. I'm not entirely sure what he did, but um, I think three of us thought that was really cool, and one didn't like it. But we're like, let's try something different here. Let's not. He, we, we wanted to just sort of. Paul is a producer, so we aren't so super used to having producers. We're more like uh, we we're usually record with engineers, so we the band gets the full say. But then we sort of let go of the reins on a few parts of the songs and he came up with some really cool stuff and we're like okay that's pretty cool so um yeah we wanted a, a different sort of feel we didn't want every song to be totally like exactly the same we wanted to try and take ourselves to the next level get a little bit of uh input sort of um re- re- production wise because we could all do a decent level of production but obviously we wanted we wanted to really knock it out of the park from when we made the ep we wanted to try different things and not just stagnate do the same stuff that's good i like it because then well uh, from the listener perspective if you put your headphones and just relax and keep listening it's not the same it's not boring because each song has a different style uh, not not different style but a different exploration of rock and i like it i'm gonna listen to your portfolio full portfolio because it's not <laughs> yeah. really about everything slowly i liked it i really liked it but i like the old ones too i like i liked everything just bring this guy to to the uk again come on what are you doing in, <laughs> in south korea <laughs> i'm asking myself that i'd love to i'd love to be back in playing and i think i will be sooner sooner rather than later we just uh We're going to promote this album, get stuff out, and uh, we'll, there'll be plenty of Dr. Beer's gigs in the future. So don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, if any record labels want to sign us up and pay for us to come over, I will gladly accept right now. So <laughs> I- I'm going to say we'll something here. Play every night. About about this. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear yeah. about About this... Um... Uh, about the situation where you wait for a rock uh, a record label to find you and invest etc um, I agree with that this is good obviously this is an opportunity uh, exactly like any other job any other project artistic project but um, I I think that we need to keep going because there is a lot of bands they could do that by themselves without a boss without a contract and with a lot of freedom to do what they love, the way they love, and it's still independent. Keep going as an independent. Don't 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 wait for for uh, rec- record labels. If it comes, obviously we are open for that. Let's work together. Let's do partnerships, etc. But keep going like yeah. you are doing, guys, because you are doing amazing without in- uh, external investment. That's so good to see, you know. This is high quality. And what I'm seeing here on your Spotify is the branding. You have a proper style, like uh, the pictures uh, you have on your Spotify, uh, that clothes with the symbol, the band symbol, etc. Who gave that idea? Yeah. This is incredible. Really, really nice. That was uh, that was Omar, I believe. I think it was Omar... Um did you not uh, order those badges and he ordered the spacesuits and everything sold yeah. them on um, <laughs> yeah there's a lot of great, there's a lot of great promo videos well you didn't sew it on yeah you I should explore probably. that and make that ah. the band uh, main image something from space well nice. actually you know the reason we did that um, was because we had a, a massive festival gig at party at the park in Perth in 2020 I think it was Uh, but they cancelled it because of the, the pandemic. So oh. in 2021, I uh, came back not just to do the album. Actually, it was to do that festival gig because it was the first thing like post-COVID uh, we could do. And they cancelled it again. And then... Jesus Christ! <laughs> the, oh my God. And then they, were, they asked us to do it again this year. Uh, and I, unfortunately, I couldn't make it. There was no way I could make it. But uh, the boys... Uh, we're practicing really hard, really desperate to do it, obviously. Uh, and they cancelled permanently Again, the yeah. third time. So, uh, yeah, so that wasn't very, uh, it wasn't a very fun experience. We'd have loved to have played a, a festival gig over those the, over those yeah. years, but hopefully there'll be plenty in the future we can uh, we can do. Yeah, but yeah, that's decent, there were some decent bands playing at that festival as well. It was like Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Charlatans, Charlatans, yeah, Scout, like lot, Scouting for Girls, my favorite. Yeah. 
That's good. That's yeah, nice. All great bands. Are you? Did you have any experience uh, recently opening the concert of other big artists, etc.? I think. I think maybe only once. The, the biggest, the biggest one we've done is probably. Uh, uh, it was a a combination band of like ex uh, Simple Minds and Big Country band members. They did a they did a gig and we got to open for that in a, a town called Glassford, at like the town hall, which was really cool. There's there's like hundreds of people there actually. It's really it was really cool. Yeah, uh, that was back. Our in, that was probably our biggest one. Yeah, but really, COVID really sort of uh, put put an end to us playing. We were on such a roll at that point, um, and then the pandemic came at the worst time. We played like we were doing at least one or two gigs every month. Um, and then obviously COVID came and we couldn't do anything. So we thought, okay, let's change focus to saving up money and let's make an album. That was our idea. And, you know, I'm really glad we did it because you can listen to us. Uh, like we would just want to get as many songs out as possible so people can hear us. Um, and then hopefully enough people will like it and we can, we can start gigging every week again at some point. I, I would gig six days a week if I could right now. <laughs> it'd be so, it would be, it'd be so fun. But right now we just really want to build up. You are resilient because, come on, three times uh, your concert was just cancelled in a festival, and yeah. uh, still keep yeah, like a week before it, the last time. Actually, well, I don't really bad. agree. <laughs> stopping using those clothes because they are like catchy. Nobody will forget if you if if you have the opportunity, for example, to open a concert to any other rock uh, artist. Uh, even if it's not the same music style, and you come to the stage with those clothes, nobody's gonna forget you. Attention. Yeah, we 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 did think of that like a sort of brand. We tried a bunch of different things, um, and then because Who Owns the Moon was, and it was the EP was sort of like a space time. And sorry, what's the other one, Omar? I always forget this one. <laughs> well, yeah, we tried a couple. I think it was Earth. Yeah, space time and air. So, but it, was, it had a lot of references to like space and planets and stuff like that. So, Omar came up with the idea of like spacemen, uh, like astronaut suits and stuff like that. Um, so we thought, oh, that's a great idea. That's something that ties us together as a band. You know, even if our our our, our upcoming album really has nothing to do with with planets and stuff like that, I don't think, I don't think there's any space themes in it. But um, it would be something that people would remember about us. So we were exactly, we were pretty exactly. keen that's on doing that. Saying. Yeah. The exploration of something that's weird makes people yeah, yeah. never forget. And that's what I'm saying. Because if you are waiting for a rock band coming to the stage and you are waiting for guys with leather and rock style and, and you know, sometimes even makeup, black makeup and black clothes, etc. And really rock and roll, you know. But then you come with those clothes. It's going to be a shock. And when yeah, yeah. I'm talking about marketing now, when you get that shock, you don't forget. And that's why I'm saying keep exploring. Could be another colors, but keep exploring. And I have a question. Why Dr. Veers? I think Omar should take this one. I, I think I answered it last time. So heard Omar's yeah. recollection. Um, so uh, basically, my, for, my dad. He forgot. Dog. He forgot about <laughs> the name of the band. <laughs> It's, it's quite complicated, to be honest. It's quite a long story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But so okay, okay. Dad... Just, just give us an idea why. Because um, there is nothing to do with our names. Well, the, the story is uh, my dad was a doctor. And then he had a, a, a friend called Dr. Veers, who he used to work with all the time. And then <laughs> it's <laughs> quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite a stupid story um, but <laughs> one day my dad didn't know he was meant to be operating on someone okay <laughs> and then dr veers keep came going in keep saved, going because dr veers everyone came is just curious and keep going. saved the day and operated on the, on the guy my dad was meant to operate on that's <laughs> crazy <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. And we couldn't so, think of a name, so that was a great example. We're like, that yeah. guy's got a weird. That's a weird name. Like, who's called Veers? Um, so we thought, excellent. Yeah, that's. It's great. a really strange story. Yeah, uh, it's really strange. Then you you have yeah. another topic to explore when you are talking about the <laughs> So yeah, but we wanted also something so unique that uh, if you googled it, 
it would be the first thing that would come up. So that's kind of why we chose uh, his name. Yeah, look, oh. he seems to have retired because he's not. <laughs> don't really get any mention of him. Um, and also, what, one more thing I think we, we really need to say. Um, so we didn't reveal the title of our album yet, um, ever. No, we've never said it. So we, we want to use this opportunity to sort of uh, reveal the name of the album. Um, so everything the name we came slowly. up with... We are talking about everything slowly. No, no, that's the song. That's a single from the album, but it's not All the right. title of the album. So the album is called Deep Glue Sea. Oh. Deep Glue Sea. So that is, the, that is the title of our album that will be coming out in probably a couple of months, I think. 12 songs, um, all lovingly constructed over the course of several <laughs> years, painstakingly uh, produced. So um, if you like what you've heard there, I think you're going to love the other 10 songs on it. There's, there's so much love, more. I just love your songs. Come on, man. Just send me the yeah. album. I'm going to do the review. I'm going <laughs> to publish an article about this. And we, also, can, we, can, we can sort that out. We can have another <laughs> interview when you have the, the next album ready, especially on Spotify. We can talk yeah. about the tracks, talk about the history behind that, all the structure that comes behind the music production, and also about the lead single. That's important. Uh, yeah. You can oh, just we'd love tell, to do that. Tell us the name again and when it's coming. Deep Glue Sea. Uh, and it should be coming out in October. I'll yeah, give you an exact date in the future. In October, yeah. Sometime in October. Um, the date may slightly change, but it will should definitely come in October. Oh, everything going to plan. <laughs> so for those uh, in October waiting for the new album, just go to Spotify, Dr. Veers, D-R dot V, double E-S, Dr. Veers. That is about a, a doctor, for real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah. about rock. But don't, yeah. he don't, doesn't know. don't worry about this. Yeah. Thing. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah. You should tell no, I don't think. I don't know if he'll, he'll probably never find out anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. He'd be an old man now, probably. All right, so uh, this is a good thing. You could explore as well the doctor uh, uniform yeah, for yeah, a concert. Yeah, oh, that'd be yeah, yeah, a good yeah. That's a, that's good a great show. Oh, why didn't we think of that? Right, so <laughs> if, if people want to find you, tell us again the social networks, please. The social network uh, handles. Tell us the names. Okay, so, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get this one ready. Okay, so Instagram. Dr. Veers, so it's dr. V double -E So that's um, that's our Instagram. Uh, if you go on Facebook, just type in Dr. Veers again, dr. V double -E uh, On YouTube, it's the same again. Um, I, I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, dr. Space V double -E uh, And Omar, will you take away with the TikTok, please? Yeah, TikTok at uh, dr. Doctor. Dot v e r s dot Veers. Great. No space Bandcamp. Only one e. No, no, two e. Two e. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say that again. <laughs> at, at Dr. Veers, but it's d r dot v e e r s. Great. Uh, and Bandcamp? Not Veers. Well, Bandcamp. And Bandcamp. Um, will also be uh, Dr. Dot and then space v e e r s. Great. How, how is that possible? The name is so strange. Those guys just got all social networks with the same handle. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It's That's... so lucky because it's lucky that guy had such a unique name. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I if he was called no one Smith, it. John this, Smith, yeah, don't... he would be in trouble. <laughs> working, working really, really well for the social networks and they have seven different platforms. Eight, actually. Now, yeah. so... The yeah. website, Twitter domain. And a website as well. Dr. We need to we need update. Dot co dot that's, 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 uh, yeah. that's, that's still hyping the, the EP coming out soon, so we should probably update that. <laughs> right. So Our good web, friend did that for us. On, 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 on Spotify, uh, tell us two or three best songs for us to explore if we are just arriving right now on your Spotify. Um, I would say... I would say... Everything slowly. That's a great one. That's just come out. Um, everyone seems to love Who Owns the Moon, so definitely check that one out. Um, and well, I love Come and See, so go for those those three. I would recommend Omar. Uh, well, I think we only have six songs out. 
So I'll say the other three. <laughs> <laughs> Micro sleep is a really good one. You are being no, 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 no. Good. You are being the good thinking. You are depreciating your work. No, this man. They have I'd listen, six, listen to all of it. Our music is amazing. You you will love it. Great songs here. That's why I'm 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 saying that because it's difficult to choose. All of them are really really good. So yes. which one? I, the yeah. three best ones. Omar. Um. Well, yeah. Personally, I well it depends if you like high energetic or high energy music. Micro sleep, electrify as well. Uh, and then Kafka is a nice uh, softer one as well, uh, but like still very, very poppy. And my suggestion is you can start with um, everything slowly and then listening to the full portfolio because that's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree, well, I agree well, with that. I agree those with six that. Songs. And, then, and then listen to it all over again. Yeah. And those six songs are going to become six on playlists. in a couple of months. Say again, please. Those six songs are going to become uh, 16 songs in a couple of months when the full album is released. So, And uh, there's something for literally everyone. Your grandma will love it. Your great-grandma will love it. Your your nephew will, will find something there. Um, there's, there's such variation, but it's all tied together. And I think I, I really am super proud of what we did uh, with this upcoming album. Uh, and we really hope that everyone enjoys it and, and gives it a, a good listen at least three times, I recommend. <laughs> They will love it. From start to finish. I can see there is the retro style, there is the 90 rock style, 90 to 2000, and now so yeah. the more modern style mixing with punk rock. Guys, congratulations for the work you are doing in the middle of a pandemic, still developing with the difficulty being in different countries, different continents, and you still keep going, keep developing. This is amazing. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Being here, okay, yeah, it's nice an for honor us. for us. Yeah, an honor for because it's it's not easy to do our job for Superpop.tv without guys like you, you know, because you work as a reference not only for fans to go to your uh, social networks and discover your music, but also for those starting now trying to build a career and be an independent artist too. You are doing something that is already a success because. When we talk about uh, producers listening to your music, it's different when the fan is listening to our music because the producer, they will listen that's and say, sure. no, that's rubbish. <laughs> that's the rubbish. I don't like it. But then everyone just said, man, this is amazing. Totally different. And they, they explore different style in the same, uh, the same portfolio. And this is really, really nice. We loved it. Thanks for that. Thank and you very much. A message to the audience in your fans. Something that is firing. Uh, never give up. Never give up. <laughs> we've been at this for 11 years. We've been at this for 11 years. And we've had a, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Some people we know that we admired have started bands and finished bands and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, just keep going for it. Sky's the limit. Great, great, great. So... Again, when you have a new project, just come to us again. Uh, could be uh, by email or... Oh, let's just say something. Uh, you are using a platform that's MuseSoap. This is a tip for those that don't yeah. know how to do that. What do you think about MuseSoap? Is it a good place to get to playlists and get to know different curators from different countries and blogs and people writing about your songs? Is it good? Yeah, definitely. I... Yeah, Muso Soup, and also there's another one we think is really good, Submit Hub. Uh, really recommend that too. And uh, Amazing Radio, um, they constantly play our stuff in the UK and America. Um, so those those three platforms really been helpful for us, um, uh, for for sure. So highly recommend all three of them. It's it's not super expensive either. So um, you don't you know you don't have to pay if if a person doesn't add you to their playlist. For uh, So, well, for Submit Hub anyway. Oh, so. Muso Soap, for example, you have uh, free and also paid services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get an option. You get free options to be whatever they may be, playlisted or whatever. And then you get paid options too, um, which could be something you're really interested in. We've had um, pages with like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers put us on uh, like reels and stuff like that or posts with um, just as background music. And it really helps people listen. And they're like, what's that? And they, they come and follow you. So... Uh, highly recommend it. 
That's amazing. So, Dr. Veers is not only about music, it's about tips for everyone. That's good, guys. <laughs> just love Ask it. the doctor. Ask the doctor, exactly. <laughs> Omar, thank you for your time can, here with us. If you us. can find him. And, and Dylan, just thank you for you too and all the other members for the great work you are doing, right? We have to Excellent. finish now, but I will be waiting for your next project in having you into yeah. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. See it's you next time. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.